The world's largest ichthyosaur may have just been discovered in the Swiss Alps. Now, we know that the ichthyosaur, of course, the ichthyosaur, Triassic uh, type of a water dinosaur, lived in water. What is it doing on top of the Swiss Alps? According to live science, the Triassic sea monster may be one of the largest animals that ever lived. Researchers found the broken tooth of one of the largest carnivores ever to stalk the earth. No, it is not Tyrannosaurus rex, T-Rex. It isn't even a dinosaur. Rather, the tooth belongs to a rare and mysterious species of giant ichthyosaur. It's a flesh-eating marine reptile that patrolled the waters the world seas during the late Triassic about 205 million years ago, but it's found on top of the Swiss Alps. How did that happen? Though the crown of the tooth is partially missing, the fossil's fangs roots is one is twice as wide as any other ichthyosaur tooth known, and this is according to a new study published yesterday, April 28th, in the Journal of Vertebrate Paleontology. The previous record holder for largest tooth was the ichthyosaur measuring nearly 50 feet, that's 50, uh, 15 meters long, the study author said possibly making the owner of this newly described tooth one of the largest animals ever to live on land or sea. But because scientists only have half of a tooth to base their research on, it's impossible to tell whether the ancient marine reptile was a true leviathan or simply one of the many similarly sized sea monsters that ruled the Triassic seas, as we said, two, uh, 205 million years ago. It's hard to say if the tooth is from a large ichthyosaur with giant teeth or from a giant ichthyosaur with average sized teeth. This is what the lead author, study author P. Martin Sander, University of Bonn in Germany said. Monsters of the deep, ichthyosaurs whose names translate to fish lizards from Greek, emerged during the Middle Triassic period about 252 million years ago to 201 million years ago and not long after the end of the Permian extinction wiped out about 95% of life on Earth's oceans. The aquatic reptiles did very well for themselves in these changing seas. With about 5 million years of their first appearance, ichthyosaurs ballooned to enormous sizes and dominated all the world's oceans, the study authors wrote. The largest known ichthyosaur is the Shastasaurus, Sicaniensis, a whale-like creature that measured up to 69 feet long, 21 meters, or possibly even longer. For comparison, modern blue whales generally measure about 80 to 100 feet long, that's 24 to 30 meters long, while the carnivore King T-Rex measured an average of 40 feet long, according to the American Museum of Natural History. Many large ichthyosaurs, including the gargantuan Shastasaurus seem to have become top predators without even evolving teeth, according to researchers. Only one species of giant ichthyosaur, about 50 foot long, Himalayasaurus, discovered in Tibet, is known to have had a mouthful of teeth. So, when scientists discovered a single large fossil ichthyosaur tooth in the Cossin formation of the Swiss Alps, a 9,200-foot-high rock formation that existed at the bottom of the Triassic Sea, the team did it had a bit of mystery on their hands. You can imagine, this was at the bottom of the Triassic Sea and it's been found 9,200 feet above sea level. In the new study, the researchers analyzed the foot fossil and the tooth fossil in detail, along with some large ichthyosaur ribs and vertebrae, they were all discovered in the same alpine formation between 1976 and 1990. The team compared the sampling of bones to other giant ichthyosaur fossils with more complete skeletons in order to estimate the size and species of these new specimens. Measuring about 2.3 inches wide at the root and 4 inches tall from the root uh, to the broken end of the crown, the fossil tooth is twice as wide as any known Himalayasaurus tooth. The researcher said the unique pattern of dentine, the hard tissue that makes up the bulk of the reptile and mammal teeth, 
proves that the tooth belonged to an ichthyosaur, but the fossil's extraordinary size does not fit with any known species. If the creature's body was significantly larger than Himalayasaurus, as the tooth seems to suggest, then researchers could be looking at the largest ichthyosaur ever discovered up to now. Similarly, the ribs and vertebrae from the Cawson Formation are some of the largest ichthyosaur fossils of their kind ever discovered in Europe, the researcher said, and the tooth, ribs, and vertebrae appear to belong to three different ichthyosaur species specimens. All of them are gargantuan. These late Triassic giant ichthyosaurs clearly were among the largest animals to ever inhabit our planet, the researchers wrote. But given that only a few bones remain of each specimen, it's impossible to reliably categorize them as particular species. Measurements of the bones may also be slightly skewed, as several of the fossils appear to have been squashed by the movement of the tectonic plates that raised the Alps out of the sea over hundreds of million years, uh, the team said. Can you imagine the geological changes that took place to, to raise this thing that was at the bottom of a Triassic Sea to become of the highest mountains on the Earth? So for now, the researchers have assigned the three specimens to the family Shastasauridae, the same family of giant Shastasaurus, Sinosaurus, and Himalayasaurus. Whether or not the specimens dwarf those Goliath sea monsters is a question that cannot be answered without more fossil evidence. This is uh, from Brad and Inspector on uh, Life Science. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. And this, of course, is a part of the broken tooth, as you can see, how huge it is. You can imagine how huge and gargantuan the ichthyosaurus of the Himalayas was. The tooth is four inches long, that's 100 millimeters, and missing part of its crown. The beast that bore it may be one of the largest sea monsters ever. This is an image by Dr. Martin Sander and Dr. Heinz Fuhrer, uh, and it's on, on life science, as you can see, a huge tooth. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.